looking at, you know, characters like Sheik, characters like Joker. Yeah. Still having a Peach around, even Peach as well. He's been experimenting with those four characters to, you know, definitely put them out there. But we'll see how the Sheik is going to handle the Ness here. Gat finally gets the rematch. He's been waiting, what, months for this now? Tw Ten months. It's nearly a year. Yeah, near, almost yeah. a year. It is an entirely different matchup than the one he lost previously, but the amount of raw power that Ness brings to the table against Sheik. Sheik has always been a character of death of a thousand cuts, right? Oh. But like Ness is like, he's got an entire binder of printer paper ready to smack you over the <laughs> face with. He, he doesn't even care about any of that nonsense. He's got PK Fire, uh, PK Thunder 2, rather, yes. the rocket, ready to go at any moment in case you're being caught a little bit too unsafe. He's got the back throw. He's got that big old noggin, the, uh, the up air as well, being able to do a lot. So far for Void, like you said, right, that's 5,000 cuts. Let's start off with each one, making sure it counts 66% already on the gap. Mm -hmm. Not getting fallen out by that Nutra out of the shield. All right, Void kind of keeps it close. He wants to make sure he's either in a position to go ahead and hit him with a tilt, down tilt, or a bouncy fish. Getting caught by the grab, though. Sent off stage. Gak looking to cover that roll area. Looking to, I, it looks like he wants to just already put pressure on Void's jump option off the ledge. Not quite lining up quite yet because you get uh, the ability to drift right after that jump. But just the fact that he's keeping his eye on it is already a really good sign. Or throwing out the out smash to catch it instead. The one thing that Gak was really comfortable back at Frostbite was going for a lot of side stalls. And in going for that, that gave Void a lot of opportunities to not have to go for things like Thunder Jolt. But now we're not seeing Thunder Jolt from Peach. We're <laughs> seeing a Sheik here. And then Gak feels a little bit more free to go for these side stalls. The pressure, though, from that Nair into the jabs to catch the shield drop. Oh, no, and the untackable. Yeah, that, that placement of the uh, vantage, beautifully done by Void. Four throw, nice. This this should be Void getting a, about like 40, 50%. Finds himself in the back here to keep things going off stage. I like it, doesn't, t doesn't uh, waste time to definitely set up the needle, especially that far off the stage. Mm -hmm. He just wants to keep the pressure going on uh, Gak while he's off. Oh, back here does out. the trick, beautiful. Void only at 45%, this is a really good lead for him. We might as well have to try this. We might as well Kong call this tournament Congo Saga the Sheik Awakens. Ah. Nice, doesn't even try to put out a backer against the shield. He's more content landing on the stage and trying to find his footing. Beautiful stall by Gak. Whenever you see the side magnet come out by Ness, it's just so sick because it's always just that Ooh. fraction of a second of a stall that throws off your opponent's entire tempo. Yes. Nice, trying to catch one on the line with a PK fire. Four throw, set up a lot of stage control here. Here's the forward and the PK fire to catch the neutral plane. Good on Void, keeping his defense up on his way back up from the ground, uh, from the ledge rather. <laughs> Shield stand up, but nobody's forcing up the grab yet. It's looking kind of scary. <laughs> Anybody could take the momentum from the next neutral win. And that's why they're sticking so close to that center stage to mitigate that potential damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, fire, nice, and he catches the jump out. Four throw. CK Thunder, Void has to be careful when he lands, but he saves that directional air dodge for the last second. Actually goes for neutral, but he catches the neutral get up. And that also potentially covers jump get up as well. Yes. If he lets go, and he manages to cover a lot of things that Void might come down with with an aerial. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, like, Void could, like, I guess get up attack is his one way through. Because if he get up rolls, then you react to that, let yeah. loose of the up smash, and at least hit him with something. Up smash is able enough to cover neutral get up, jump get up, and even roll get up on the way back down. Mm. So it's it's got some it's got an arc, man. You have yeah. to really respect it as well. Just really, really great awareness uh, by Gag, as you would expect, of course. Yeah. Being from like the the Ness main from Japan, who's been coming over for uh, at least in Smash Smash Four, if not longer. Yeah. Yeah. And like we talked about earlier too, being a character specialist goes a long way. I mean, look at Nico, meaning meaning Shulk, back when back in the days when that character was so hard to use, and now it's paying off for Gak and Void. Right? It's a tale of okay, how far can we push our characters, even in the state of the meta that they are now. And that's the interesting thing to point out, right? Uh, Vance, we were talking earlier about how Void won their previous set going as Pichu. Of course, Pichu did get nerfed since then a little bit. Um, but the fact that Void is still has that confidence in his Sheik, even though he lost that first game and knows that, I know I can beat him with Pichu, uh, or at least I have before, but I'm going to stick with my Sheik regardless. I have that confidence in this character. Yes. 
If you're going to main a character and call yourself a specialist of it, you gotta stick through it. Okay. With all the W's and L's. I gotta point out that crouch. Right? Yes. In the middle of that neutral, as comfortable as Ness is in the air, being able to shrink your body that low the way that she can, and be able to hit people for whipping right on where your head should be. Mm -hmm. Very, very good stuff. Really good too because you're able to pull a low profile. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that's that's the, the heart of it, yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, speak of the devil, like low profiles are probably really common in this game. It's, it's something that Void was already leaning on back in Smash 4. Like yeah. he mentioned in the Shulk matchup, he'd specifically crouch and then see them throw out a hitbox, and then he'd tap shield to power shield the hitbox because it would force Sheik into a standing position to get the power shield and to get his ideal punish. So it's oh. something that I know as a player, Void is very, very cognizant of. Not bad, but I'll do it. Void at 124, stock deficit in his hands. Watches himself. He doesn't want to get grabbed, especially knowing that Ness is a kill throw. That and he wouldn't kill at that point of the stage, but hey, man. You, you see that wait just in time for Gak to air dodge, and then right afterwards, Void picks up with another up air, gives himself a little bit extra damage. Finding those little moments where your opponent is scared enough, getting those couple extra hits, that's where she can make up that difference between her lighter hits and everyone else's. Nice backs off. We saw last game, each player is really content to win the neutral first. Boy makes it back to the ledge and goes for that get-up attack. Very, very careful because he knows, you know what, I don't want to get hit by the other special last time. DK Fire capitalizes off the jump out. Gek knows the place. Trying to stuff out that nair the first time, but Void still has that percent lead, a solid 84, and more importantly, Ness offstage. She can still edge guard Ness really hard if Gak isn't careful. Yeah, and we saw that last game, right? Void made sure he was going to go out to the depths with that back air. Mm -hmm. Neutral to be fought here for. Getting the drag down up there, but just barely shy of the last hit of this forest match. All of these, these killing blows just barely misaligned, but the crazy thing is Void is still ready to keep rolling afterwards yes. and keep the damage pouring out. Gak at 126 now. Good to carry on the forward air. I mean, if you're going to expect an aerial from Sheik, right, you're going to expect <laughs> fair. <laughs> Needles, but no bouncing fish. Yeah, just barely not able to connect it, but the damage keeps getting on, and eventually you get him high enough up, back air on stage is gonna kill. Void making sure, you know what, she might have lost a little skill up, but I'll definitely make up for them with my raw caliber of skill. Mm. I mean, he's, he's so used to playing on that nice edge in terms of the characters he likes leaning towards, or just like, the characters Void loves demand perfection, but he's capable of keeping up with that high of a standard. Yes. Couldn't have said it better myself. Good down to the catch and back on there. And the oh down my to god! Finish him off! Void! What was that? <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I never... The stone cold murder <laughs> face after lining up the suicide <laughs> dare! I never needed Pichu to begin ta with, man. Ta ta like, you talk about demanding perfection, right? That's that's one of those maneuvers that you misalign that dare. Congratulations, USD. Yes. The character that like needs to work so hard to keep up that same damage mm -hmm. output as everybody else. Void knowing exactly that he can line up in that moment, willing to make that call and getting it. Who, who else but Void? Who else but Void? Void's her boy. Void is truly the boy of, of California, yes. above all else. Hailing straight from Hawaii, he's definitely come to SoCal to put nothing less than short of a show here. And he's definitely going to show us a show here in Game 3. Going back to Final Destination, the neutral stage that they, that they struck mm -hmm. to initially, Gak did win there. So Void did have the option of locking the stage out. Yes. He chose to let him take him right back to the here. Tackle. So necessary. That's kind of one thing we didn't see the last game, too, is the size that was coming out from Gak. We saw so little of them. But now we're probably trying to see a little bit more here as he starts off. We'll have to see what happens though. Gak forced off stage by Void. Nice. DK Thunder is coming in really good to protect Gak's recovery. Yeah. He wanted to make sure he was going to force Void to hold the shield to kind of cover one of those get up options he might have picked. And then we have the roll actually sneaking past the up smash. Mm -hmm. Gets the grab here. Oh. That was just a run up smash attack. <laughs> Just raw catching Void, putting Gak in the lead. Forward air. Void, he, he literally just, he didn't even corner carry him. He chased this man to the ledge. He never let, he never had, gave Gak the opportunity to pick a stage. He, he didn't carry him into the corner, he harassed him into yes, the corner. 
Just the presence of himself rushing to the edge, knowing where Gats is gonna go. Boy, touching down on the other side of the stage, not rushing his, uh, not rushing his escape from the juggle into anything too soon. No, excuse me. That was, I think, Gak trying to DI yeah. out from the throw and then still being hopped at the fair and then DIing out and dying off the side. Because there was no kills for from that. <laughs> oh, I, I, I never saw a kill at that one. Okay, so Gak looking very good at this game three. Void is gonna need to find himself an amazing gimp in order to even things out. Mr. Grab here, this is Void's beginning opportunity here, especially with percent. Here we go, a solid 44. Just dances around Gak's shield, baiting out that Nair, keeping the damage coming out. And even if he doesn't get the bouncy fish, having the threat of the needles always being there is something for Gak to always to consider. I, I think that's the reason why we're not seeing the bouncing fish, is that Void wants to maintain this positioning to keep slowly piling on more and more damage. He's not getting ahead of himself, thinking I need to take the stock as soon as possible. It's, if I keep myself on the ground and keep Gak in the air, the stock will fall eventually and I will mitigate the damage I take. Exactly. But, Gak has already knocked up Void in the air, got himself a solid 66%, and again sending Void off stage. It's looking harder and harder for Void to be able to make this comeback. Good size thought he wanted to definitely trick Void up with the back air, stalling up for that last possible second for Void this, to drop the shield. This pressure from these down tilts, he knows that Gak can't shield grab it. Nice, he spaced himself so well for the forward tilt too, but Gak able to come back on the stage, hit this man on the back air, and take stage control. That Nair, being able to send Gak top stage once again. So I stall, not even the full up air, but Void gets the strike here, the stock. The thing that's scary here, Vance, Void needs to play perfectly if he's gonna be able to take this game off of, his, uh, off of Gak. 106% against Ness as Sheik? Yeah. This well, is the... so hard to be able to win. Uh, this is tough here, he's low, and unfortunately the... The vanish. two frame coming out from the yo-yo, covering that vanish perfectly, and that's all it takes. Gak winning 2-1 against Void, getting himself the run back he wanted since Frostbite. Yeah, 10 months in the waiting, ladies and gentlemen, but Void still played. I didn't even get to say my